Welcome to Hobart. Thank you. How's your match today? Uh, it was not, not one of the brightest days out there, but um, I started a bit shaky, you know, and then it took me a little bit to, to get used to the conditions. It's quite windy out there, and it's first first match of the year. And uh, I was also sick before I came here, so a lot of uh, issues going on, but I'm really happy for this win, and really happy I fought my way into the, the second set and then into the, into the third one. And hopefully I can I have that, another chance to play better next match. Yeah. So you're feeling much better? You're feeling tip top? Of course, <laughs> of course it's always better when you get out of the court with the win, you know. It's, uh, and sometimes it's, it's better when you struggle a little bit and uh, because you, you have to find a way you know, to, to win when you're not playing your best. And it, uh, sometimes it's good, you know, it builds you up a little bit and uh, hopefully I can get come out tomorrow and just uh, play better things. Is there anything that you've been working on in your game off-season that you want to sort of focus on in the next couple of weeks? Uh, yes, I've been working on a lot of things and it's just a little bit frustrating because I had six weeks of really, really hard practice and then uh, I got a virus on my way to Oakland, so I've been 10 days in bed. So I was just saying, you know, in 10 days I kind of, I feel like I've lost everything that I worked in the past six weeks and uh, it's, uh, now I'm trying to get back on my feet and uh, it's very important to get as many matches as I can here, you know, just go as far as I can and hopefully just uh, get to go to Melbourne with, uh, with more confidence and uh, ready to go. And is this your third time back in Hobart? Is that correct? Um, I think my fourth time. Fourth time. Yes, okay. So, I mean, do the conditions change year to year? Was it particularly windy today? Uh, no, I think uh, in Hobart every year it's quite windy, but this year we are actually lucky with the weather because I remember last year we had a couple of days with rain, so it uh, was a lot of waiting going on, but this year, you know, it's, the weather is better, it's actually not as windy as, uh, as the previous years, but, uh, you know, it's still something that we have to adjust, and I came from practicing uh, for two months indoor, you know, so for me it's a little bit probably tougher than for the other ones that were already, like, practicing outdoors, but uh, I think it's a, it's a great way to get them when we start the year, so like I said, I'm just you know, forgetting to play as long as I can. Perfect. Um, so you're going to play Lauren Davis next. Do you know much about her? Have you played her before? Uh, no, I've never played her. Um, I don't know much about her, but uh, I think my coach went to see, to, to see the match a little bit, so he will be the type of later on. Um, I'm that kind of player who doesn't look too much on the, on the opposite side. I'm always trying to, to focus on my side of the court and on the things that uh, I have to do, because I think my game depends a lot of of, of me, you know, so if I'm doing the right things, then I'm in charge of me. And over the I can just uh, have a good state of mind and just play at the tennis and, and fight, you know, and fight with what I have. Perfect. Um, and then just being in Australia, obviously you did really well last year. Um, are you excited about the Australian Open and sort of the next couple of weeks ahead? Of course I'm, I'm excited. I think every player is excited, especially when they they come to the four grand slams, you know, they are the most important tournaments. But uh, right now I'm in Hobart, so I just want to focus on playing here my best and uh, trying to go as, as far as I can. And as soon as I'm done here, I'll put my focus into, into Melbourne. But uh, I'm really excited to start the year again. I miss the tournament, I miss the atmosphere, and I think the most I'll miss from the Cool, perfect. I'm happy with that. Oh, good. Um, now I'll just ask you some sort of light-hearted questions. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you listening to on your iPod at the moment? Uh, it's hard. I've been listening to a lot of Swedish house mafia. <laughs> there are three DJs and actually before I, I left home I went to their concert, they were in Romania. And uh, well, it was amazing. Live they were amazing. So I, I listened to a lot of their songs and especially for the match they are, they are quite good to pump you off. Uh, what do you take in your tennis bag? Is there anything in particular that you keep in there? Um, not, I don't have superstitions, but what I do keep is always a book and crosswords. I do a lot of crosswords every single time, even before my match run, so I can try and get my mind a little bit off the pressure uh, that's, you know, that, that you put on yourself just before a match. So I, I do have a lot of like, crosswords and uh, then I have a lot of games on my, on my phone, you know, so I'm just trying to, to stay busy and just keep the brain shape. Ah, I like it. That's very good. 
And when you have some downtime, what do you like to do outside of tennis? It's, um, I'm, I'm always trying, you know, as soon as I'm, as I'm down outside and do my practice to, to go and just do something else. And, um, you know, tennis doesn't give you that much free time because you always have to, you know, always have to, to train or do other things that, uh, to make you be in shape, you know. But uh, I'm trying to always maybe go and uh, see some things and always, uh, you know, trying to, I'm reading a lot and always trying to, to go into the local places and just experience a little bit of the atmosphere because I've had years of tournaments where I've just seen the hotel and the, and the club, you know. So now I've said that when I'm into a place and if I do have a little bit of spare time, I do want to see a little bit. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.